Our other breaking story this midday, a verdict reached in the Waukesha Christmas Parade trial. Julian Cruz is there with the latest. Julian. Well, Patrick and Dino, Waukesha County jurors returning a verdict with lightning speed between yesterday and today, deliberating on 76 criminal counts. They deliberated maybe three to four hours, making a very quick decision on this matter. The 40-year-old defendant, Daryl Brooks, electing to defend himself during this 18-day-long trial here at the Waukesha County Courthouse. If you find the defendant guilty of first-degree intentional homicide, answer the following question, yes or no. Did the defendant commit first-degree intentional homicide while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. A subdued Daryl Brooks bowing his head as Judge Jennifer Darrow reads the devastating verdict. Brooks guilty on six counts of first-degree murder and 67 counts of first-degree recklessly endangering safety with the use of a dangerous weapon. That dangerous weapon, of course, in this tragic incident, Brooks' red-colored SUV Ford Escape that prosecutors say he used to create mayhem. Today's verdict coming just a month shy of the tragedy's one-year anniversary. Prosecutors say that the enraged Brooks, fresh from a violent argument with his girlfriend, jumping into his SUV on the evening of November 21st of last year. Surveillance video and witnesses capturing the red SUV plowing through the Waukesha Christmas Parade crowd. Video showing Brooks at times seemingly zigzagging through the holiday crowd, killing six while injuring 61 others. The scale of this tragedy bringing the community to its knees but the subsequent murder trial with Brooks defending himself, adding to the distress of victims' loved ones, Brooks at times creating what can only be described as a spectacle in the courtroom in tumultuous pretrial discussions. You may remember Brooks on one occasion even taking his shirt off and throughout the trial refusing to recognize his own name. Mr. Brooks, would you like me to poll the jury? Yes. Members of the an unusually subdued Daryl Brooks, as he has done so often through this trial, uh, muttering statements at times uh, difficult to understand. Now, prosecutors and the victim's family are expected to talk to reporters at 1 o'clock. We'll, of course, bring you the latest here on WGN and WGNTV.com. At the Waukesha County Courthouse, Julian Cruz, WGN News.